Hadith says La Nabi Ya Ba'adi Is Hadith authentic? Number one Number two Is this Nafi? Is this negation for a specific prophet? Or is it a La Nafi Ujin? Aam Nafi That's it You said about La Nabi Ya Ba'adi We believe in the Hadith La Nabi Ya Ba'adi Okay You need to tell people Your clear answer Is it La Nafi Jin Or Nafi Aam Or categorical denial Or a zilli nabi can come because if a zilli nabi can come then it is not la nafi jins that is the key point i want people to understand so you need to tell first mr ahmed if you don't know simply say that i don't understand this la nafi jins thing you said then why are you quoting mama gusha listen very carefully volume 7 page 200 mirza gulam kadiani said that the tafsir of khatamul anbiya is no prophet can come without exception you need to address that thank you i call it mirza gulam kadiani sayyidina umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu is the reflection of nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was he a prophet why not when these murabbis are sitting in front of the layman ahmadis we have quran we have quran Guess what? Who was this guy he was quoting now for Bruce? I don't care about that guy. Quote the Quran now. Your bruise has nothing to do with the Quran. Number one. Number two. Are you saying there has been bruise before? Name one bruise who was a prophet. Who we have to believe. Who, who, who was this guy? Don't deceive people. There's no such thing as being a bruise and a prophet which everybody has to believe. There's no such thing. Quote Quran. Why are you hiding behind these people? You said Mahdi will be this. Come on. Mirza said not single Hadith of Mahdi is authentic. Why are you quoting the Hadith of Mahdi? Khatamul Vilayat. Subhanallah. Now Nabi has become a wali. You are here to prove Mirza was a Nabi. Now you said he was a Khatimul Vilayat. Subhanallah. Abu Shaib, my request is bring Ahmad back because now he wants to run away. I fulfilled my promise. I answer his question. If I did not answer, people are watching and listening and they will watch again. He was quoting examples of Prophet Nuh and Prophet Yunus and telling that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani changed his belief. I want to know in which year. That's it. This is my last statement on this thing that, that disbelieving in Mirza Ghulam Qadiani and disbelieving in Isa ibn Maryam is one and the same thing. I have given already the example. Someone is a true prophet of Allah and someone is a false claimant to be a prophet. If somebody thinks in his delusion that hukum to reject both is the same, <laughs> what, what else I can say on this one? So the hukum of Musalma Qazab and the hukum of rejecting a true prophet of Allah is not same. Now, a galti ka izala. Okay. You have to tell us. Point number one, a, a, a galti ka izala is prophethood has been sealed. If a prophet comes, seal will be broken. Let's first agree with this one and go to the Quran and quote that ayah for this part. Then we'll open the zilli door as well. Thank you. Yeah. So you said, you know, if a fall claimant in his delusion, brother Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also called Majnoon. So this is the problem. I'm not here to convince you, brother. I know you're just reading and misquoting. Okay. Uh, we believe him to be that Isa, who is the true Isa. And we believe him to be true. So again, as I proven, as you said, this is your last one. This is my last one. I'm not going to speak on that anymore. Now, so I'll read from my page 18 he says well like in the rasulullah the verse contains an implied prophecy the prophethood has now been sealed till the day of judgment and no one with the expression of the buruz who is the holy prophet sallallahu himself has the power to receive such manifest divine knowledge as is received by prophets since i am the buruz of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that has been ordained since ordained since, since eternity i have therefore been granted prophethood in the form of buruz and the entire world is powerless to stand against it for a seal has been set upon prophethood a bruise of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was destined to come in the latter days with all the perfections of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and so he has come. Now this is the only window through which one can get water from the fountain head on prophethood. To sum up, to sum up prophethood or messengership in the form of a rule does not break the seal of the finality of prophet, prophethood. But the idea of the descent of Jesus does break the seal as it necessitates the negation of the verse, walakin rasulullahi wa khatam nabi So this is the first comment that you made, the first sentence. I have just read the whole extract and everyone can understand what it actually means. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I've just got, I'm going to let Mirza Ghulam Ahmed answer him. Yeah. Which is again, Ruhani Khaza in volume seven, page 244. And just for uh, the listeners or the viewers, I, I am reading the Arabic version, okay? So there might be some differences in the uh, page and volume. Yeah. In it's him himself, he goes, فَلَا حَاجَةَ لَنَا إِلَىٰ نَبِيٍ بَعْدَ مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ We have no need for another prophet after Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. And this is Ruhani Khazain, uh, volume, uh, volume 7, uh, 244. Also, in April uh, 1895, he in uh, Kitab Tadkira, Al-Wahi Al-Muqaddas, Al-Wahi Al-Muqaddas, he says, he says himself, فَكَمَا أَنَّ رَبَّنَا وَاحِدٍ and as our Lord is one, يستحق العبادة, he deserves worship uh, uh, alone. فكذلك رسولنا المطاع واحد. The same way our 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 obeyed prophet is one. لا نبي بعده. No prophet after him. ولا شريك معه. 
and no and no uh, associate uh, and no associated with him and he is the uh, seal of the prophet so if he is even if this delay this delay in here in the muqaddas he says la sharika ma'ah there is no associate with him even for someone to be delay thank you Jack. look you know ibn hazam mm -hmm. ibn hazam is keep bringing the reference in and we 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 thank him to present the words uh, of uh, sayyidna uh, people. First of all, we already said that he thought that the Sharia Nabi, whenever he would use the name, the, the word Prophet, but I don't want to go into that discussion because it has already been this, this dismantled many times. Now with Ghaliti Gaizala, again, you use that, you said that he said a thousand times. So I'm just going to bring that reference, reference that thousand of moments can come. So he said, in short, the term Khatam al Nabiyin is the divine seal which has been set upon the Prophet of Muhammad. Sallam. It is not impossible for this seal ever to be broken. What is possible, however, however is that the Holy Prophet Sallam, may appear in the world in the form of a bruise, not once, but even a thousand times, and maybe may by way of gurus proclaim proclaim his prophet with all its splendor and perfection. The advent of such gurus was ordained by God Almighty. Prophets are never so first of all he said by way of gurus. Okay. So when he says it's sealed by a by way of gurus, it's oh, sorry, my time is up. No worries. Okay. Let's let's finish this one as well. Okay, don't try to use this tactic. Okay, this was dismantle, this and that. You are here now, you are being given the opportunity to quote at quote dismantle. Okay. Hadith says, La Nabi Abadi. I will only have two questions. Number one. Is hadith authentic? Number one. Number two. Is this nafi? Is this negation for a specific prophet? Or is it a la nafi jin? Am nafi. That's it. Answer the question. Okay. So as I have I just have, proven I will, the, I just from, the quotes, uh, from the quotes of uh, the book uh, of Salim Sima Salam, that he never said, he, he said that by way of bruise is open. And, uh, and, when he, uh, and so it has been clear that Imtiaz Sahib has misrepresented the book in Ghazi Gazala and you are inviting people to read it. I invite people to read the book and see for yourself what he actually meant. Secondly, you said about La Nabi Abadi. We believe in the Hadith La Nabi Abadi. Okay. And then you said there is no prophet after me, but you also believe in Isa Al Islam. Even by believing that this, this is Sahih, we believe it is Sahih. By believing it is Sahih, you still are waiting for Isa Alayhi to come. So I don't know where you want to go. Salamari. Let me tell you where I want to go. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I'm going to repeat my question so people can uh, understand. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So I want everyone to please understand the argument. The argument is I'm asking La Nabi Abadi. I'm asking is it Hadith authentic? Alhamdulillah, his Hadith is authentic. So that part is done. Now my second part of the question is when when it is said there is no prophet after me, it is a law of jins, law of categorical denial, nafiye arm, any prophet whatsoever, or is it the law of a specific negation that some specific prophet cannot come, but some other can come. So I am asking the second part of my question now. So when Ahmad come back, what is the question? When it is said la nabi abadi, there is no prophet after me, this negation, is it la of jins, law of categorical denial, nafiye arm, or is it only negating a specific prophethood and not prophethood altogether? Thank you. Okay, so as I have uh, stated before, that when you say that there can be no prophet and you're making the arguments of Lana Biyama Adi, Lana Fi Ajins, and etc., the Promised Messiah already said the prophethood has been sealed. So we, we believe it has been sealed. I don't know why you're saying this. We believe that by way of Baruch, it continues that someone who has the quality, the attributes of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that that Baruch, Baruchi prophet continues. But so the prophet of Mirza Ghulam Muhammad sallam is actually the prophet of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by way of Baruch. So so you have to understand this. And I will read a quote which actually proves what I'm saying. Hadha Imam Abdul Razak Kashani radiyallahu he says, Al Mahdi al Ladi yajiu fi akhir zaman. فإنه يكون في الأحكام الشرعية تابعا لمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وفي المعارف والعلوم والحقيقة تكون جميع الأنبياء والأولياء تابعين له كلهم لأن باتنه باتن محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم which means that the Mahdi who will come in the latter days will be a nomadi of the Shia Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Apart from the Holy Prophet, all of the Prophet and Saints will be followers of the Time is over. The self, Time is over. The self of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Don't try to say something which is not the discussion, which is not part of the question. What is the question? La Nabi Abad. You need to tell people your clear answer. Is it La Nafi Jins or Nafi Aam or categorical denial or a Zilli Nabi can come because if a Zilli Nabi can come, then it is not La Nafi Jins. That is the key point I want people to understand. So you need to tell first, Mr. Ahmed, if you don't know, simply say that I don't understand this La Nafi Jins thing. Inshallah, I'll explain to you. But if you do know, then understand the question. This La Nabi Abadi, is this La, is this La is denying every prophet whatsoever, i.e. I, no prophet whatsoever can come after me. Is it saying this 
or is it saying that a zilli prophet can come but as anybody else cannot come so please if which, which law is this go ahead unfortunately you have an emergency but i will just answer this last uh, question of yours so when you say la nabiya ba'di la nabi you're saying that there can be no prophet after uh, the muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam i've already told you that any prophet who breaks uh, the uh, the seal of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who comes a new law there can be no prophet a baruz prophet can come and I, i've already told you i, I read the extract where muhammad, the promise was i said the prophet has been sealed so i don't know why are you just roaming around la nabiya ba'di la nabiya jins i don't understand the, it, it is so easy i'm telling you muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last low bearing prophet i'm telling you very clear i don't know how, how clear i have to be to tell you this but by way of baruz muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam after muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there can be prophethood there can be prophets and by way of baruz i have clearly stated unfortunately i just have an emergency uh, but I, i can come back in 5 minutes if you want is that can yeah, i come please, back please come back please come okay, back i will yes. try to come back so much yeah please come back let's begin where we left off i was asking you a very targeted question why because this question is the crux of the whole matter la nabi ba'di if la is leaving some room then we can discuss zilli or buruzi if la is not leaving any room there's no discussion so i'm asking you please take a clear position and we gave the example after you left la ilaha when we say there is no ilah illa allah except allah this la ilaha and la nabiya from a grammatical point of view number 1 number 2 from mirza gulam qadiani's writing point of view la ilaha is la with the ilaha and la with the nabiya both of them are same if la ilaha negates all the false everything except allah likewise if you are saying that this la nabiya abadi is negating every kind of prophethood then we have no argument but if you say that no la is not negating every kind of prophethood in that case we can have a discussion so please take a clear position what is your position is la nabi abadi negating every kind of prophethood or is it leaving room for some thank you okay i think the funny thing is that you are asking the question and you are answering yourself yeah so you were saying that other um, mazhab ulama rasan believe that is la nabi jins and also la nabi kamal and you said that there can be no prophet after or you said that you know he says la ilaha is the same as la nabiya but i have just uh, given you a statement where he says that buruz will a buruzi prophet will come so, so secondly la nabiya ba'di it can be a, a la nabiya kamal also right that a prophet of the status of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam cannot so this can also be uh, a, a meaning and we have uh, I believe uh, the Sheikh can also pull out the Hadith. Uh, I don't recall the exact wording, but it was like uh, "Iza halaka kisra, uh, fala kisra baad" or something like this. It is in Hadith, and but kisra also came after uh, many, many, and kasr also came after. So don't play games here and try to confuse people. It is very clear that the Hadith of the Ulama, the Hadith of the Ulama said the Buruz will come, right? And you said it yourself. Now, if you say "La nafi agents, La nabi abad," that there can be no prophet. Your time is finished. Your time is finished. Okay, now Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Please note down the. question we are raising so you can answer the question there's no point just to beat around the bush so i'm asking you this mirza ghulam qadiani said that with regard to khatamul anbiya when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has done the tafsir of khatamul anbiya through la nabi abadi pay attention this is bila istisna no exception hamamatul bushra volume number 7 of khazain page 200 note the reference bila istisna mean no exception when you say buruzi can come you know us darje uh, cannot come of the same rank but lower rank can come then you are basically you are arguing with mirza gulam qadiani number 1 number 2 you still are not telling people your clear position are you saying that la nabi abadi does not mean that no prophet whatsoever cannot come you are not telling a clear now address the question of muhammad al bushra bila istisna thank you yes so we were discussing ye galti ka izala but again you are bringing muhammad al bushra that's fine too you know it is very clear imtiaz you know we already replied to this this allegation that Had the Messiah or the Prophet had this belief before that there can be no prophet whatsoever that come up, could come after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he had the same Sunni belief. He believed that uh, every uh, a, a Nabi was a Sharia Nabi. Okay, it is very clear. You know it, Imtia. I don't know why you always bring this this up. Muhammad Abdul Bushra and this and that. Secondly, as I said, that there is a Mizah Ulama Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying himself that he is a Guruji prophet. He cannot. He can come. So you have to interpret the writing of the Messiah of Islam according to his own writing. You are basically. claiming that you know what hazrat muslim wanted to say but you don't know you're 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 basically taking one sentence out of more than 80 books he wrote and you are saying look he wrote this give me no prophet but on the other hand he said that he is a buruzi prophet and then he said my coming is the coming of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what does it mean it means it is not different meaning that attributes in reflection why are you hiding this why is this so difficult to okay that's one minute this? now that's one minute ahmed okay now i will take inshallah one minute and 10 second okay bismillahir rahmanir rahim first of all let's be 
you said something in a very subtle way. You said that we know that Mirza Ghulam Kadiani had this belief before. You use the word before. In a very subtle way, you implied there is a before and after. When you come back, explain this before and after thing or take it back. Number one. Number two, you said that how come that if Mirza Ghulam Kadiani was saying there's no profit whatsoever. And then he can claim to be a prophet. It is called contradiction. And Mirza Ghulam Qadiyani said, You take a kalam mein tanakus zarur hota hai. Speech of a liar is necessarily contradictory. So you did not prove anything by pointing out the contradiction in Mirza Ghulam Qadiyani. This is the feature of his right. Okay, last point. You said that, why are you quoting Muhammad Bushra? Listen very carefully. Volume 7, page 200. Mirza Ghulam Qadiyani said that the tafsir of Khatamul Anbiya is no prophet can come without exception. You need to address that. Thank you. Okay, that's time. Uh, yes, in terms, I don't understand why you're bringing this up where you've quoted yourself, Ikhaltika Gala, and you've agreed that a Buruji Nabi can come. And you're saying there are contradictions. Oh, you know, you know, I, I don't know what is your stance on Hazrat Yunus al He made he made a prophecy. What happened? I don't want to repeat it. What happened to Hazrat Nuh al He made a statement. What happened? Why are you hiding this? You're saying you're there making changing of their statements? No. So stop bringing allegations where you can also raise allegations of other prophets of God. As I've said, that changing your decision, it is also from Allah. And he has never lied. He explained that I thought that a prophet is the one who always bring a law, a new law. This is why all were denied. And he said a Baruzi prophet, a reflection, a prophet of reflection. This is the beauty of the Muslim of Islam that you can never uh, say, say this. And I, as I always said that I, these debates have been happening for many, many months. I don't want to go into too many details. That's I time. Your time is finished. Bismillah Don't use this word, you know, this rhetoric of debate. Why are you hiding this? If I'm hiding something, people can know that. You don't need to say that. Okay, let people see what I'm hiding, what I'm not hiding. Don't just repeat this word again. Next point. You said, in again, in a subtle way, you're saying that, oh, all the prophets, they have changed. I'm asking a specific question. You are employing here in a very deceptive way that Mirza Gula, you before you use the word, before, when you come back, tell people, what is the year, this before and after? Clarify this thing. So we can pull the reference, which is after whatever before you mentioned. So you need to tell that, are you saying, pay attention, are you saying Mirza Ghulam Kadiani changed his position? If you're saying this, acknowledge that and quote the year. And next one, you said that this is the beauty, subhanallah. Tazad, contradiction is not beauty. This is your problem. And next point you said, why are you quoting this? I'm quoting because you are not addressing this. Hamamatul Bushra, without exception. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I have a, uh, so you presented a Galitika Izala in the beginning when I, before I come on. And you said, look, the seal has been broken. Then I, as I have stated, you, you haven't read fully. It says Baruz can come. Then you said, uh, my coming is the coming of Muhammad. He's, Mr. Ghulam, he said this, even though he explained that it is by way of reflection and you were mocking the Masih Masih Islam. Okay. Now, as you said in Hamamatul Bushra, any law bearing after the Masih, after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we do not believe in it. And you also believe in that. We believe prophethood has ended. I've already told you. Only that prophet who will come in the obedience of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is what he's claiming, Mukhalma and Mukhalma and Mukhalma, you know, the commun communion with Allah the Almighty. He, this is all he's claiming. So this, this is what I'm saying, that the, the statements are not contradictory. It is just a matter of understanding the wording of the Masih. Okay, that's time. Okay, your time is over now because we are heading towards the you know end of because I, said I, I have to leave up half an hour. So, inshallah, in my last 10 seconds, I will ask you a question and you ask me any question which you think I have not addressed. So, people can know what's happening here. Number one, I'm asking you, but you are not replying. You said that Mirza Ghulam Kadiani changed his position. I'm asking you in which year. When you come back, please tell us in which year Mirza Ghulam Kadiani changed the position. Inshallah, I will quote your reference after that date and then we'll finish your point. Number two, you said reflection. Reflection. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani said, according to Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the reflection of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Was he a prophet? Why not? Okay, number three. You said that Muhammad al-Bushra says, no, Muhammad al-Bushra says, no prophet can come without exception. If Zilli can come, you are making an exception. Now, in your turn, tell us in which year, number two, was Umar a prophet? Thank you. Yes, I forgot what you said in the beginning, but... Uh, now, let me remind you, wait, let me remind you, I asked you two questions. Question number one is, you said that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was reflection, Zil. I said, according to Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, Sayyidina Umar, Raziyallahu ta'ala anhu, was a muhaddas, the one whom Allah speaks, number one. Number two, he was the Zil of Nabi Muhammad why Umar was not a prophet and Mirza was? Number one. Number two, in which year Mirza changed the position? Thank you. No, there was three. There was three points. What year, the reflection, and the third one uh, you just Hamamad mentioned. Bushra, yes. He said that yes. Hamamad al-Bushra have exception, but he was misquoting. Hamamad al-Bushra says, Bila istasna, no exception. Yes. Bila istasna, there can be no prophet that can come who will bring a new sharia. Okay. 
and this was the understanding of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Mirza Salam. And I, if I can find the reference, I will also share the reference where he actually says that my understanding was that Nabi means that a Sharia Nabi. Okay, and it is very clear. Maybe I can uh, tag you on Twitter, uh, Imtiaz, uh, with that reference. I think you must know that. Reference. Secondly, uh, you said that uh, is Hazrat Umar radiAllahu anhu a Nabi. As again, Hazrat Umar radiAllahu anhu, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophesied that after me, Khilafa will remain. Uh, 30 years after me and he's a Khalifa Rashid okay and then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa gave a wrong hadith I know I don't want to talk about that what I'm saying is Muhammad the Muslim Islam only claim to be to have Mukalma and Muqadda with Allah and by Baruz and, and Zil time is, time is okay, okay that's fine time now. what was the third question okay in, in your turn inshallah Bismillah Rahman Rahim point number one Mr. Ahmed you don't need to tag anything I'm telling you Hamamat al-Bushra Rani Khazan volume 7 page 200 there's no need to tag right now this is the this is the time to present that don't take anything over there. Okay, number one. Quote Muhammad al-Busha and tell us how are you creating any exception from that quote, number one. We have not done this so far. Number two, you said that Khilafat will come, subhanAllah, in Sayyid al-Bukhari. If you demand, I will quote the hadith. And Sheikh knows the hadith, inshallah. I will quote for you. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in Bani Israel, there was a prophet after prophet. Once the prophet will die, a new prophet will come. And then he said, but after me, there's no prophet. There will be Khilafah. So Khilafah means prophethood coming to an end and then Khilafah start. You cannot say that prophethood and then Khilafah, then prophethood, then Khilafah. When you're quoting this, quote the Hadith. Okay. And now you are not telling in which year Mirza changed the Time's position. up. Time's up. Time's up. Okay. In which year? In time's, which year? Time's up. Time's up. Yeah. Time's up. Okay. So I have just, I have just uh, uh, stated uh, in, in the, as he knows that he's not coming on the Galati Kazala anymore because no, he's not that he... What he was saying in the beginning was wrong. He clearly stated in the in Ghalatika Izala that some Ahmadis were confused and they don't say that I'm a prophet, but I'm a way a prophet of way of Buru's and a Dili prophet. And then Allah Ta'ala gave me the status of Imam Mahdi and Isa Rasulam because any person who was supposed to come after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was only by way of, of obedience of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Secondly, uh, you said that oh Hadat Umar Allah, no, is he a prophet or not a prophet? Who said that Umar Allah, no, the prophet? Did Hadat Umar Allah, no, claim to be a prophet? No. Okay. And but Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has clearly stated that if there was a prophet there, there was going to be the umar of the allah that statement is then and you're hiding that statement again that uh, muhammad Sassam said and i can present you this, this hadith again but i said as i said if but as I, as i've told you that as a muslim islam there's no contradiction at all Your time is over time, time, time. okay uh, abu shweb i just want to know that you can ask ahmad how many turns he wants to go so inshallah we can ask our final question because i am not getting the answer to my question it is quite you frustrating it is quite frustrating but in the answer, i doesn't feel like the the hitting the, the nail on the head. Uh, there was number number one point was what year did Mirza Ghulam Ahmed make that statement or change his mind? I don't think that has been addressed either. But in general, do you remember the, your first question? I Abu Shaykh, I would say, let me ask Ahmed, how many turns you want to go forward, inshallah? Let me know. Last one, if you want, you're in a hurry. No, I'm not in a hurry. You tell me how many turns you want. Whatever, I can take maybe a, a, a two turn. Then from I this move. from this point from this point i'm gonna take right now my turn and then you will take a turn okay after that it will be last turn for both of us in your la in my last turn i'm gonna ask you pinpointed question which you have to answer and in your last turn you are more than welcome to ask me any question you think which you think i have not answered fair enough okay, okay. bismillah rahman rahim now now he's telling people that why are you saying Umar? Listen, everybody, very carefully. My time, please. Mashir, by my time, please. My time is not. Ahmed, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. 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 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Please, everyone, pay attention. Ahmed was saying that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was a prophet because of being the zil of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This was the argument. But as soon as I pointed out that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani says that Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was the zil of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why he was not a prophet? Because that's the argument. If your argument is that if you are zil, you are a prophet, then you have to explain why Umar was not a prophet. This is your problem, number one. Number two, you are saying that why in is not called a galti ka izala. Guess what? In a galti ka izala, you are creating an exception. And I am telling you, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani said there's no exception. So I am addressing a galti ka izala. Now, the question I want you to address, number one, in which year Mirza changed his position? Number one. And number two, like I said before, please tell why Umar was not a prophet. Thank you. Okay. So first of all, Imtiaz right now is today uh, basically saying that I have invented the, the, the content of Baruz. One second, Ahmed. Uh, can Ahmed start the clock again, please? Uh, we start it. So okay, Imtiaz is basically ahead. saying that I have invented the <laughs> the concept of Baruz and, you know, uh, and everything, you know, and he's saying, now I will quote a, a, a quote from Sheikh Muhammad Ikram Sabri from 
Iktisabun Anwar, page 52, Bayan al And he says, he said, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu who appeared as Adam al Islam at the very beginning of life on earth, meaning the spirit of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu was manifested in the form of Baruz, in the person of Adam al Islam. Then he says, it was none other than the Holy Prophet Sallallahu who will appear in the latter days in the form of seal of sainthood, Khatam al Bilal, as the Imam Mahdi. In this way, the spirituality of the seal of Prophet would be reflected in the Mahdi. So it is not a concept that we have invented in Tihal. Your own scholars are saying that Imam Mahdi will have Baruz. I don't understand. Today you're rejecting, you're quoting. Why are you rejecting? Why are your, your your scholars have said that he will be aware of Baruz. Why? Why? Tell me. Why are you hiding it? <laughs> okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So don't use this word hiding. Come on, be a man. Okay. Oh. Now, Bismillah. Ahmed, can we uh, restart the clock? That's it. Okay. This will be my last turn, and after that, after this, that he will take the last turn, and then, then, like I said before, I will ask him a one question, pointed question. And he will ask me one pointed question. Amal, please, start time again, please. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, everybody see now, when these murabbis are sitting in front of the layman Ahmadis, we have Quran, we have Quran. Guess what? Who was this guy he was quoting now for Bruce? I don't care about that guy. Quote the Quran now. Your bruise has nothing to do with the Quran. Number one. Number two. Are you saying there has been bruise before? Name one bruise who was a prophet. Who we have to believe. Who, who, who was this guy? Don't deceive people. There's no such thing as being a bruise and a prophet which everybody has to believe. There's no such thing. Quote Quran. Why are you hiding behind these people? What, whoever you quoted is neither a hujja for you nor for me. Don't waste our time. Second point. You said Mahdi will be this. Come on. Mirza said not a single hadith of Mahdi is authentic. Why are you quoting the hadith of Mahdi? Point number three, Khatamul Vilayat. Subhanallah. Now Nabi have become a wali. You are here to prove Mirza was a Nabi. Nabi said he was a Khatimul Vilayat. Subhanallah. Yes. So again, uh, Imtiaz Sahib, uh, uh, I forgot what you said in the, uh, the beginning. Uh, what did you say in the beginning? Can you repeat again? It's your turn. Please speak now. So you don't want to repeat? You need, you need to write down things if you want to debate. Uh, so, okay. Okay. If you don't want to repeat what, what, what I can say. But as I've stated now, Imtiaz, whenever you present the scholars, he denies the scholars. When you present the Quran, when you speak on the Quran, he said, no, 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 no Quran. No Quran, only books of other Muslims now. You present own scholar, he said, no, we deny everything. We, we, uh, we, the proper bro, concept of Bruce had nothing to do with the Quran, neither had these all the scholars who wrote about Bruce. If you present the reference today, Imtiaz will say, these are all foolish beliefs. It doesn't exist. It has nothing to do with Islam. So this is the problem with Imtiaz. He's smiling right now in front of me and saying that he basically is implying that Ahmadis have invented the concept of Bruce. So all those who are watching today, please just do a small search research about your ulama who have written about concert of Baruz and the concert of Zil. They have written plenty of information that will be there for, for us. And as I've said, as I've said that the prophethood has been sealed on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam only by way of Baruz there can be a prophet. Yes. Thank you very much, okay, Ahmad. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ahmad, now your turn first. Ask me any question which you think I did not address. Okay, you can go ahead first and I will answer. No, I, I want to give you the opportunity first. I don't want you to go and say, oh, I asked this, I yes, asked this. Okay. Ask okay. that number one okay. question. That number one okay. question which okay. you think okay. please. So you said uh, in the beginning with Ek Aliti Kaizala, you said that Hadhar Mizah Ulam stated that my coming is the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I have quoted you that uh, I have, I have, uh, you haven't said that, that many scholars are saying that the one Imam who will come, he will be the reflection of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It, is, it will be as if it is the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that st statement you were saying that, oh, you know, look, this is, but you, as you said, you need to acknowledge, can you acknowledge that what you were implying, you were wrong? And there are many scholars who were saying that the one who was to... Ahmed, can Muhammad. you ask your question, Ahmed? Yes, yes, okay. I'm saying that. So then in Ekhalitika is Allah, you said first, you try to imply that Prophet has... Ahmed, 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 Ahmed. Uh, ask the question, please. Ask okay, question. so my question, my question is, in the book, uh, uh, Muslim Islam has received revelation in Brahim Ahmadiyya, for example, has in, re in his revelation, has he been called a prophet or no? This is my question. Sorry, what is the question? Has Mizah Ulama, Rasul Islam, Islam, before the Galati Kaizala, has he been called a prophet in his revelation or no? What is this question from me? This is your Jamaat's my... belief. Why asking you about your belief? No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking because you are saying that uh, he was saying that uh, prophethood has ended in Hamamatul Bushra and no prophet okay. whatsoever can come. I'm saying before Hamamatul Bushra, yeah. has Mr. Ulama Islam received revelation from Allah? We say yeah. that he was a okay. Very simple. Mirza Ghulam Qadari did not receive any level. He was lying. No, no. In the writing of the Muslims. Ahmed, Ahmed, I'm not being disrespectful, but you know, in his writing, brother, 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 br
answer the question. Did he write or no? Ahmed, 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 answer. Did he write or no? Please answer. Are you done? Okay. okay. Please look at the. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, inshallah, when I will ask your question. Inshallah, people will see the clarity of question. Inshallah. Okay. Listen now. You asked me one question. I answered already. One question was. You said that did Mirza Gul? I said Mirza Gulam. Because then he was a liar. He did not receive any revelation. Now. If you want to ask a second question, go ahead, and I will ask two as well. Fair? Okay. Okay. So you are quoting. Wait, 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 Ahmed, wait, wait. You asked me one question. I answered. Now no, you, you didn't. You didn't answer. answer. You did not answer. No problem. No problem. Now you want second question. Do you want no, second no, question? No, no. You have to answer my question. I said that. Do you want to ask a first question? Was did no, Mr. No, Gulam? No, no, no. Don't play this game. Ahmed. Answer my question, please. You Ahmed, can I can I complete? Uh, uh, Intiaz, go ahead. I'm muted and go, please. Continue. I'm asking you, Ahmed. You you were saying ten different things before you asked my question. You mean I I put down all the ten things you said before. Then eventually you asked me about revelation to Mirza Gulam Kadiani. Yes, I said yes. to you, I said to Mirza Gulam Kadiani was a liar. He did not see any revelation. Okay, can I answer? No. He has no. answered you the, your question. What do you mean answer? No. Gonna, uh, Ahmed, this is getting very frustrating. Okay, okay, give me give me ten by, seconds. Abu, no, no, ten seconds. I would say by now it's my turn to ask one question. No, no, he has. Answer my question. He, he hasn't answered answer my question. question. No, he hasn't. Uh, Brother Bashir, or even okay, hasn't okay. Yeah, has uh, Mirza Gulam Ahmed in his own writings wrote that he had received a revelation, and in that revelation, Prophet has been mentioned. Are you done now? Please, it is not back. It's a question and answer. Your question was, has he received a revelation? Are you listening? No, no. Answer my question now. In his writing, that has he written that he has received a revelation and he's a prophet. Are you done now? Please, can you answer yes. now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Listen, everybody, very now. I'm asking to you and to everyone. Okay, you ask the question now. Please don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me now. Okay, Mirza Ghulam Kadiani said Isa alayhi salam is alive in the heavens. He will return. Then he said Isa alayhi salam is dead. He will never return. He said that I am not a prophet. I am a prophet. So I am telling you, this is the contradictory nature of the writings of Mirza Ghulam Kadiani, which according to his own criteria. He said that jute ke kalam mein tanakuz hota hai. Speech of a liar is necessarily contradictory. So this is not the argument. What you are telling the whole audience is that Mirza Ghulam Kadiani used to contradict himself. Hence, it is proven according to his own criteria. He was a liar. Okay, so okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. I have asked wait, Ahmed. Can I complete my point? It's very unfair. We had a back and forth with equal time. That is finished. After that, it was only to ask me the question, and I asked you no, the you question. No, you did not. You did not answer. Let the people decide. You went, you, no, you went on Isa. You went on that of Isa. I'm asking you in the writing of Adam Izzah in his books. Has he, regardless of if you think he received a revelation or no, has he written in his revelation that okay. he was a prophet? Or no? Okay. Now my question is. In which year Mirza Ghulam Kadiani changed his belief? You did not answer my question. Okay, thank you very much. Answer my no, question. Why I'm, why, you know why I'm asking this question? Because this question will prove that you are you are lying. You are saying oh, that Mirza Ghulam had a sound position in Hamamat al Bushra was this. I can prove, prove to you from the first book he wrote that he was called a prophet. Oh, bhai. This was a revelation received from Mirza Ghulam. Yes, yes you know, okay. this is the problem. Uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, wait, Abu Shaib, my request is bring Ahmed back because now he wants to run away. I fulfilled my promise. I answer his question. If I did not answer, people are watching and listening and they will watch again. I have the right to ask him my question as well. And I don't care that how he would answer. I have simple question. He was telling again and again. He was quoting examples of Prophet Nu and Prophet Yunus and telling that Mirza Ghulam Kadiani changed his belief. I want to know in which year. That's it. Please bring him back. For Abrahim Ahmadiyya, has he written that he had received revelation and in, in that he has been called a prophet? You are not answering, Imtiaz. Why are you quiet? Why can't you say yes in his book he wrote? You cannot say yes because you know the whole point will, will, will go out of the way. Hazrat Mizah Ghulaman wrote that I was called Ahmed, a prophet. I am not here to listen to this speech. No, but you are not answering. Okay, I, I don't want to listen to this speech. Thank you. I know. I am asking him a very clear uh, question. Uh, thank you for coming on. Have a good day. Look, and, uh, good yes. to see you soon. Just answer and yes or no. Very Ahmed, Ahmed, this uh, Abu Shaykh, I look at. I want people to See, this is the level of hope of terror. Alhamdulillah, mm. they have in their hearts because they are on the battle. How simple question was this? How straightforward question was this? He was saying that before and after thing in the speech, in, in his turn, i.e., he was employing the Mirza Ghulam Kadiani change his position on profit. Now, when I ask him in which year, and all please listen, look at the tactics. Now he was saying right from the beginning, right from the beginning, from the first book, subhanallah. 
before you are saying he changed his position it means mm. it has to be a point before and after and now you are saying because you have no courage to state that year so now you are saying oh no no it was the first book when he was a prophet so you are you don't have the courage at least to take a position now if i did not answer if i did not reply alhamdulillah things are on the record thank you abu shay bhai oh yeah he's freezing out he's freezing out i don't think he heard us uh uh, bro, uh brother mdiaz uh we're just wrapping up the stream there's nothing left to really talk about unless you want to talk about something okay no problem inshallah that if you want to wrap up all good but uh, i would say people that you know i would request everyone to please watch that discussion between me and the official murabbi mirza nadeem ahmed in that discussion in that discussion focus on three points number one he clearly said that murza gulam qadiani had two positions one was something before and one was something after and then i kept asking him up till the end that which year is the in the middle so we can see the before and after now the reason he was not giving the year because he knew that muhammad imtiaz has a trump card and the trump card is whichever year he will quote i will bring something after that year and let me tell people mirza bashiruddin mahmood the second ahmadi caliph as bashir bai knows he said that everything up till 189 1889 that is mansoof number 1 number 2 the year of 1900 He said, "This is the year of Barzakh. Barzakh means he said that Mirza Ghulam Karyani was going through transition. That what should be the right understanding. So from right from the beginning up till 1889, that is Mansukh, and the year of 1900. He said it is the year of Barzakh when Mirza was making his mind, and then he said 1901 is the year when he changed his aqida. Aqida means the change of aqida." In 1901, now Nabil Mirza knew if he is because he knew very well that it was 1901. But at the same time, he knew very well that it does has trump card. Alhamdulillah. I will quote something after 1901. This was the whole reason he was not even though he knew the year, but he was not telling the year. Second, uh, the reason I'm saying all of these things because I'm requesting you to please watch that debate very carefully. Secondly, do you remember he said that Mirza was a reflection a zindi nabi mirza gulam qadiani says that umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu was a muhaddath the one whom allah speak and number 2 he said that umar was the zil of nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now if somebody is a zil and allah speaks to him and these two things can make him a prophet then why umar was not a prophet you need to think about because they are giving us a principle but what we challenge them on that then they are finished and inshallah after this bashir bhai will give you the reference because i i have given him already when mirza gulam qadiani said that the status of abu bakar and umar cannot be achieved by anyone till yawmul qiyama please understand he said that the status of abu bakar and umar cannot be achieved by anyone till yawmul qiyama number 1 and number 2 said that i am only the dust i am the dust of the feet of abu bakar and umar and we all know that abu bakar and umar they are siddiq and shaheed they are not none of them is nabi right now if mirza gulam qadiani is telling us that no man till yawmul qiyama can achieve the status of abu bakar and umar and is telling us that he is only the dust of the feet of abu bakar and umar that how can he be a prophet and lastly if mirza gulam qadiani is telling us i was given prophethood in the stomach of my mother that end the whole discussion and last point last point please 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 ahmadis hadith la nabi abadi hamamatul bushra volume 7 page 200 mirza nabil was giving a deception that this la nabi abadi means there's no prophet after me the one who is a law bearing prophet in hamamatul bushra mirza gulam qadiani said that this hadith has no istisna i e no exception and if somebody says it has the exception of zilli nabi it means that you have denied mirza gulam qadiani you know why because for two reasons mirza gulam qadiani said that tafsir of khatamul anbiya hamamatul bushra volume number 7 of khazain and page 200 he said that tafsir of khatamul anbiya which is given by according to mirza which is given by nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam without exception without exception is that there is no prophet after me and after that he gave a reason in the same page he gave a reason he said that the reason is the door of revelation of prophethood has closed and if somebody will be a prophet it means that you are going to reopen that door and then he said and it is batil he said it is batil if you open the door of revelation of prophet it will be batil and, and you remember i said to nabil mirza the mirza gulam qadiani said that his revelation is not revelation of prophethood it is the wahyul wilaya revelation of sainthood and razi on record has acknowledged that revelation of sainthood is not a hujja nobody needs to know about that and nobody needs to believe in that now all of that was a summary of our discussion our duas for the entire ahmadiyya community and if there was anything 
I said or somebody else said, which was a bit aggressive, please ignore that. We are human beings. I will look at me, alhamdulillah, with the, I, I, since before Fajr, for almost four hours, I was talking and I have to go to my work, which I'm going right now. It's a one hour drive, by the way. Now, what I'm saying is, we are human beings. When we're asking them straightforward questions and they are not replying, you can understand that how frustrating is that. But despite that, I'm not saying we have the excuse. No. If there's something we said, please forgive us. Allah say, we're human beings. We are defending a noble cause. But we are human beings. May Allah forgive our shortcomings and may Allah guide the entire Ahmadiyya community. Thank you very much.